So we're going to be coming from this pose to this all in one shot, okay? Can you see how this is all working all in one shot? But we're going to animate there to there, okay? Just so you can see how we're going to do that, okay? <laughs> So now I'm going to kind of like, you really should have a feet thing, but I'm going to kind of like define my arc point, okay? So like the head is here, the head is here, the shoulder is here, the shoulder is here, okay, the hoodie bottom is here, the hoodie bottom is there. So what you can kind of see, okay, is these three lines are like this, and I've picked out my major kind of points they are going to help me find my kind of mid midway point between all of that okay so I'm just gonna leave that in yellow just so you could see like I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't you know I'd probably just eyeball it okay so because with this kind of stuff you can get away with a lot of stuff okay so then his head is probably I would say gonna be about this big the balloon is going to be the balloon point is actually now where's that hand that hand the hand is there and the hands getting kind of smaller so we need to be careful about that hand okay so the hand is going to be coming here like this all right so let's see chin, chin, chin. okay yeah we can come out at the higher angle so the balloon is going to be here let's turn that on Let's keep that balloon kind of like this, okay? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's quick, but it's gonna work, okay? And I'm gonna leave a lot of this in super, super like kind of. Let's you see how I'm just managing these shapes now, like this, because your eye is just gonna be seeing a bunch of moving shapes. Now the skill that the skill that is required is, is the speed in which this thing is going to be moving at because if we want to do it nicely okay we got to draw and keep volume slow control but that once you know how to keep volume which is actually not that difficult as people think it is okay it's just experience and understanding of, of these shapes okay so I need to focus on this so the shoulders are here the shoulder hair like this the arm coming here like this the hand is going to be within here like this okay yeah this is how this goes okay you see this is easy shit it really is people think that this somehow this is what great animation is so as a storyboard artist I must have done animated hundreds of camera moves like this um, now you know nowadays they just rely on the software to do a lot of the stuff okay which is why I kind of got fed up I kind of got personally got fed up with the industry one two three as the skill was taken away or the ability to shine through your skill was taken away because the industry doesn't care right uh, at the end of the day the industry cares more about um, getting it done effectively does it look good at the end of the day it's like what i was saying about that guy drawing with the mouse there is no it's good for this or it's good for that times have changed it's not about how like oh look at that that's a great drawing man and taking pride in your work like back in the day where other animators would crowd around your line test and go shit man that's amazing you know that was an amazing feeling back in the day when we were drawn animators to be recognized by your peers like that times have changed now like nobody gives a shit they're like oh you could have done that with the machine or whatever you're just wasting time we don't you know just get through it and like at the end of the day that's not like i love the drawing i love uh the excitement of doing something uh with with the craft and taking pride in my work and the more and the more and more that that became less a part of the industry it's like the more and more where i started going you know what i don't feel i belong here anymore uh which is why 
um, you know, I just want to communicate with people who love hand-drawn animation that lo still love that, that, that still care about that stuff. Okay, so there we are. We can see the guy is bl bringing the balloon up. So this is sort of like a semi-storyboard, semi-animation that we're kind of doing. So you can see how he brings the balloon to his mouth and we come out as he's blowing the balloon up. Okay, like that. Is Real Animator Training Library the real deal? Is that Real Animator Training real? Absolutely. The Real Animator Training uh, provided by AMB Animation. Um, it is absolutely the best ever, ever. Is Real Animator's Training for real? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, I definitely think Real Animator Training is for real. AMB Animation can be a life changer. Certainly was for me. I'm just so happy with the way that I've progressed since I've started in the AMB Animation Library. I bought this in support because it has changed my life. I never thought that would make that difference in my life. That library is just so valuable, so many things you can learn, and it's just truly amazing. I may have said that already, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been one of the best things that's happened in my life. Is Real Animation Training Library real? It doesn't get realer. Thanks. So, are you going to join the library?